What's good everybody, welcome back. So another day out in the garage. Um, previous videos, we've been working on a lot of carbon fiber projects. And now that I have all of those complete, I wanna redirect my attention back to the cosmetics externally of the car. Um, there's one major eyesore that the car has on it currently that happened about two, three months ago that needs to be addressed. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what it is and then we'll discuss how we're gonna try to rectify it. And hopefully by the end of this video, we have a good result. But, I guess we'll see. As I said, about three months back, I came out and I found this nice little dent right here in the rear quarter panel. So I'm gonna say that I was backed into by, I can only assume to be a uh, rubber truck bumper or something of that height. Because as you can see, it hit here initially and then it pushed its way through the body, taking off layers of paint along the bumper's edge and then resting right here and causing this nice little dent here. So the issue with this dent, if I smack up top here or suction it with a suction cup, it'll pop out. But the moment it's touched, it sucks back in. And the reason for that is down here at the bottom, you see this little section of paint right here that's, that's missing. There is a small little crease right there going horizontally across the panel. That little indention right there is what's causing all this tension that is causing this dent to stay in place. There's nothing up here that's going on. There's nothing to the outside. It's literally just this one spot from here to here, and then a small little crease right there. So my goal today is to pop this crease out from the back side or pull it from the front side to relieve the stress so this dent will pop out and stay out. Now everybody knows I have a wide body kit, and I wasn't concerned about this originally because a wide body panel would cover it. But it's gonna take a minute for me to get this wide body put on. And I'm tired of seeing this. This is a huge eyesore. Anywhere I go, people always ask, what happened to your quarter panel? So I'm gonna try to fix this. And if I don't fix it, well, it's gonna get covered anyway. So at least I can say I tried. In front of you on the table, we have two kits from Harbor Freight. The first one I've never used before, so this is gonna be a learning process for everybody. Uh, it's the Pittsburgh Automotive Crossbar Dent Repair Kit. Basically in the kit, you have the crossbar with the anchors that are rubber backed to protect the body paint. You have your wing nut to tighten, and you have your two different size pulleys to apply glue to to pull the dent out from the car. Um, also in the kit, it comes with glue sticks, a glue gun, some release agent or cleaner panel prep, a scraper to scrape any of the glue residue off when you go to remove it. And this is just a little, uh, this is a finishing tool. So if you have any high spots, you can tap them in with this and a small rubber hammer. We're gonna try to use this in combination with this hammer and dolly kit. So this hammer and dolly kit is also from Harbor Freight. However, this was bought a good 15 years ago when I was going through college. So first thing, I'm gonna go ahead and get the trunk emptied out. I'm gonna go ahead and use the tools that I've used when taking apart the interior trim and every video you've seen thus far. And I'm gonna go ahead and get the camera set up on tripod and get the trunk taken apart. Here is the interior panel trim removed. To get this piece of carpet out, I had to remove my box. I had to pop my two panels of the flooring out that I installed. I then had to take this pin out of the carpet that was located right here. And then I had to take the two pins on this side of this rear panel and the two pins on this side of this rear panel. These pins are in the form of these auxiliary hooks. Basically just shove something in here in this little recessed area, push it upward, and that pin pops outward. Once that pin is outward, you then need to get some type of pry tool or a screwdriver or something up underneath. You need to pop these four tabs out of the panel right there. Once those are out, this provides the, the free the leeway to give loose to pull the carpet back and slip that piece of carpeting that's right over there out. The only things holding that carpet in place are these three pins and this sitting on top. So now that this is out, I can see back in here. Now, 
I'll go ahead and set you off to the side. I'm gonna survey the uh, issue area here and see what we can come up with. All right, so for starters, I'm gonna bring the dolly. I'm gonna bring it in right in here. That's where the small crease is in the panel. I'm gonna hold and apply pressure to that with the dolly from the back side. And from the front side, I'm gonna slightly tap around the dent with the polished hammer and hopefully that will relieve some of the pressure and stress going in that little area there. Once that's out, I'll reassess the dent itself and then we'll use the uh, dent repair kit with the crossbar to try to pull out the rest. I'm gonna go ahead and set you up in here and get started. Before I go into any explanations, I'm sure you've probably noticed the uh, the dramatic change in lighting. Um, it's just about four or five hours apart from when I started this video to where I'm finishing this video because I had to leave in the, middle, in the middle of it to go do something for the family. No big deal. Just trying to get it knocked out before it gets too dark and I can't work tonight. So what, what have we done so far? Recap. I used two different dollies and the small polished hammer and I've gotten it to where it is right now. So if I push, you hear it pop, but it pops back out. So that's good. That means that I've pushed this this crease out enough that it's now holding the pressure. The only thing really left is there's a small portion up here that is, that is still dented in. So this is where the uh, dentless repair kit that I showed you earlier comes into play. So I'm gonna use the smaller pull and I'm gonna put that pull about right there with the glue on it to pull this thing out. In order to do this, you gotta plug your glue gun in you gotta let it heat up for about 10, 12 minutes so the glue becomes pliable so you can actually ply it. You see, so as I squeezed, the glue starts to come out the end. That's good, that's ready to go. I gotta clean this area that I'm planning on applying the push to with the release agent. So I'm gonna clean that, I'm gonna wipe it off with a rag. I'm gonna apply the glue to the back of my puller and then we'll get the, uh, the crossbar system set up and, I'll, and you can actually watch the process as I twist it and hopefully pull that dent out. So once you get the glue on here and you get this pressed in place, you want to give it approximately 10 to 12 seconds to harden. So that way the glue doesn't come off the car, but it also doesn't stick to the car and come off on the panel. You want that bond just to be between both. If you leave it on too long, it'll come off the car. If you don't do it enough, it'll separate in the middle and leave a stringy tack in between the two. So we should be good at this point. So now I'll take the crossbar and I'll place it over and I'll make sure that the feet are flat on the body of the car. Now I want to put them in an area that's not going to be pressing in where the dent was. So here and here, those are pretty stable spots. Now remember, these feet have rubber have rubber bases so that way they don't scratch or mess up any of the paint. So that's what you're looking for. So now if I tighten this down, what's going to happen is as I twist this, it's going to slowly start to pull that dent outward. Now, from what I understand, I can keep pulling until I either hear a pop or this separates from either the body or from the pin. So I'm gonna keep twisting and hopefully I don't damage it more than it already, ha than it already is. But it's not separating but it's definitely pulling. So I'm gonna go ahead and release that pressure and see what we got. Notice how when I hit now, it's not buckling. It's not recoiling back inward. So that tells me that this dent was, this dent's been pulled out. I just gotta get this glue off so I can so I can verify. So to do that, I need to get the release agent and start running the release agent back around this thing and use the scraper that came with the kit to push in behind the glue and peel that glue off. All 
wipe the panel down completely with Goo Gone to get all the excess residue and whatnot off. Now, I could have paid $150 to $200 to have this done by a professional PDR, and the result would have been a hell of a lot better. There's no denying that. But, uh, for having a kit that I bought 15 years ago and paying $25 for a kit that I can reuse over and over again in the future, um, the area itself is back flush again. The crease is gone. The small crease is gone. And if I push on the panel, no popping, no distortion. Now, was there flaws? Absolutely. Let me show you. So, you know how I said if you leave the glue on too long, it could mess up the car? If you pull it too quick, it could come off the panel? Well, in, <laughs> in ensuring that I got everything on film for you guys, I left this on a little too long. And when I went to pull the glue, it took portions of the clear coat all the way down to the base coat away. So I have pieces, I have portions of primer showing right here and a little bit of clear removal around right there. Now, again, this is going to get covered by a wide body kit, so I'm not overly concerned about it. But there is still a little bit of a recess there. But it's not because I didn't do it properly. I will show you why this still looks a little bit indented. So, the reason there's a little bit of a dent still on the outside is because right where the dent's located, it is a double thickness of steel. You have the outer body skin, which is here. Then you also have the skin to the gas door filler that is seam sealed and or welded to the outer, to the outer shell. I can pull the outer shell all I want to, but it's not going to move the inner skin that's connected to it. Now I could disconnect all this stuff and try to get back here with whatever, but it's not worth it. Because like I said, I'm putting a panel over top of it, so you're never going to see it anyway. So for what we're working with, um, I think we ended up with a pretty good result. I'm going to hold off till tomorrow to uh, finish this video out just because I want you to be able to see in the daylight how this looks from the angle that I was at originally. So that way you can see the, try to see the difference between the, the panel now versus how it was before I started. In addition, I also want to recut this piece of wood because it is a little crooked and curved from when I cut it the first time. And since I have extra pieces of slat left in the garage there, I'll go ahead and just trim this up again with a new piece, straighten this line out so that way when I put the box back in, it looks cleaner and doesn't have this little bit of a gap here showing when the box is in place. So now that we have better lighting, you can see the difference in the before and after as I pan across the panel here. So, end result. Uh, without having the right tools for paintless dent removal, without having any experience whatsoever in paintless dent removal, um, this didn't turn out half bad. The dent from here to the edge of the bumper is gone. The popping noise and buckling is gone. And that's really the intent I was going for because I know I'm covering this up anyway. So I just wanted it to look decent while I was waiting for that process to happen. Um, and I think that was successful. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the other piece of wood cut to put in the trunk and then reassemble everything and then we'll close out after that is all complete. There we go everything's put back in and as you see the recut of that panel worked wonders looks really good now no unevenness or any areas that are showing or protruding so i'm happy i'm good to go 
uh, everything works, it's all plugged back in. And with that said, I think this video is done. So I will uh, start looking at the next project and seeing what I can get started on in the next couple days. But until then, uh, if you haven't already, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I will see all you guys on the next one.